I've been wearing this ski mask more often, and it's not necessarily because I want to, but because, oh gosh, bro, I need a lineup. Don't look at that. But look at all this, guys. I need to do maintenance on my hair. That's not even the worst part. All this back here. You know what I need to do? I'm gonna cut these dreadlocks off in the back. But the reason I haven't done the taper fit on the back yet is because I really just haven't wanted to do it yet. But today's video is about trying to mitigate this frizz as much as I can, because Look at, look at how much there is up here, guys. It's just like a bunch of loose hair, and most of it's all back here, so I'm not really feeling it. So today we're trying to see if brushing locks benefits that. And the reason I asked that is because of this article I seen the other day. This article says that it reduces lint and buildup, it reduces frizz and prevents breakage, which I need to reduce frizz. It detangles your roots. Oh, so instead of having to separate your locks when you're washing them, it's supposed to detangle them. It helps with hair growth, saying brushing your locks stimulates hair follicles just like hands on a scalp massage would. This stimulation causes more blood flow to the scalp, which actually kind of makes sense, delivering tons of oxygen and nutrients to your follicles for quicker growth. And it softens your locks, which if your locks are standing up, I guess it helps them lay down. So let's put this all to the test. I just seen that they even have a brush for locks specifically, but my ultimate goal here is to reduce all of this frizz to see if it can get put into a lock and stay in the lock. Okay, we're gonna take this through three steps. And this will ultimately tell us if the brush is beneficial for lock. Test one, can it remove lint? Test two, can it reduce frizz? And test number three, can it loosen up dreadlocks? Let me go check if I have any lint in my hair. So I actually do have a little bit of lint in this lock, you can see it right here, and some of the locks around it, just from sleeping with a pillow. This just happened. So what we're gonna do is we're literally just gonna take this section of hair and brush and brush and brush and see if that comes out. All right, I see some other lint right here as well. You guys see that piece of lint? All right, so there's some lint in there. So we're gonna see, with me brushing right here with this section, we're gonna see if there's no lint in it after I'm all done. So let's begin. All I'm gonna do is just go down it and brush. Continue this process and we're gonna see what happens at the end. I'm mostly gonna focus on brushing towards the tips. That's where most of all the lint is. I usually don't get any lint or any buildup close to the roots. I see some stuff coming out of the hair. It's like, just like, little dry flakes, which is just dandruff, guys. Dandruff is completely normal and usually it goes away after you wash the hair. Now, the only problem with dandruff is if you get let it get excessive and it turns into like really mushy buildup, which is not good for your locks. But I've just been brushing for maybe 30 seconds now. I'm just gonna continue this process. And in my head, I feel like it's gonna be beneficial. I've seen people even comb locks with like a metal brush. And typically it's with wicks. Now looking at this brush after a minute of brushing, there's nothing on here besides like hair that has come off of from the locks. Now, as far as the locks themselves, how do they look? I'll be able to tell when I'm editing too, but I'm gonna see if I got that one piece of buildup out of that one lock, if I can find it again. All my locks look the same. That's the weird thing about doing traditional locks. Although my locks aren't identical. Well, found it. That didn't come out, which I don't know what that is. See if I can get it. But it says it removes buildup too. And I don't know guys, it's still on there. The weird, whatever it is. And the weird thing about locks, if you get a close up, get a close up look on locks, you can see all the split ends depending on your hair type. Now for the most part, I don't know how effective this will get lint out of the locks. But based on me looking at the video as I'm editing and you guys being able to look as well, what do you think? I'm gonna let you guys decide. If you think it'll benefit you, then go ahead and try it. But from my personal experience, does it remove lint? Not really. With this next test, we're gonna be able to test both if it reduces the frizz and also if it softens up the locks. A lot of my locks get stiff when I hold them up for a long time. I've had my hair up in a ponytail for the last week. So I'll be able to tell if it loosens them up. But the biggest problem I'm facing is what you guys see here. All this frizz and loose hair. Now it's time to see if I can get all of that into the hair. So here's the before. You got the front, you got your side, and you got the back. So let's try it out. I'm just gonna go through and try to separate my hair down the middle as best I can. That seems good enough. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just literally going to brush down like, like this. So, all right. I feel like right away I already see like it reducing the frizz. And I'm just going lightly, guys. This is like a medium brush. It's not hard. It's actually quite soft. And it's ironic because this is a wave brush. But I'm gonna see if I can like eliminate this just with a few brushes. I mean, just with one, it pretty much eliminates that and gives it more of a clean look. Now, obviously, like I need a retwist and that's why like my hair lays down weird it's because I haven't got a retwist in a while. Retwist actually helps the hair look more separated and more like locks. Because with my hair texture, I have to constantly retwist the hair, which I mean, all of us really have to. This is actually working pretty good, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna brush for about a minute or so and then see what the results are because I'm already seeing the benefit of 
the reducing of frizz and it actually is softening up the hair to lay down a lot better now the real question is if i had any congos forming if it separated those then i'd be surprised because i don't think i honestly don't think that's what's what's going to happen i think it'll just help the hair lay down a lot better soften up the hair but i'll just brush keep brushing just brushing the hair down in the direction I want it to lay down and I, th I can see this being beneficial. Now the only thing I see potentially happening is this not being a permanent fix. This is going to have to be something that you do frequently and I just don't know if this is going to be beneficial for the long run. If you're constantly brushing the hair, I can see this consistently pulling at the scalp, which honestly this feels pretty good. But the only thing is, is if I go in, like you see all that reduced frizz? That actually looks really good. I'm actually surprised by that. It actually looks really solid. And if you guys see me looking over here, I'm obviously looking at a monitor, but God, it looks so good. Now here's the moment of truth. Can I go in and pull, see if any of that frizz pulls up? And then I'll explain what to do if it does happen. So if I come right here, like you can see, I'm just able to pull this frizz back up from where I got it. Yeah, it's it's all literally, it's all literally still there, guys. Like it's gonna happen. But the benefit is like I brushed it down once and that's it's pretty much gone if you're not gonna touch your hair and mess with your hair. Like say if you're going to an event, and I've done this before too, to where I'm going to an event and my hair is like really frizzy, I'll just brush it for a little bit and it, it solves that problem pretty quickly. The only downside is, is it's not permanent. This isn't a permanent solution. The downside is you have to do this frequently if you want it to actually mature. Cause yes, this will benefit and actually put the hair into the lock eventually. Cause the whole point of locks is to get the hair side by side so that it eventually will lock together. But if you have to consistently do this, I can see this wearing and tearing on your scalp and it can eventually cause thinning at the roots. But there are definitely some benefits and I wouldn't, I'm not against it if you're not doing it all the time. I think the most you should brush your hair is probably for one hour a week. And I feel like that's even pushing it. I would not use this as like a maintenance method. I would just use this as something to hide your frizz temporarily. And it's really easy to do. And I would highly suggest using a softer bristle brush. I mean, cause if you even look at the roots, like it looks 10 times better. So here's the front side by side. Here's the side and here's the back. You can see that made a huge difference. And the same goes for all this loose hair back here. If you had your hair pulled up, that would obviously be more present. And all you want to do is literally just brush and brush it into the hair. I'm just going to brush to show you guys how to eliminate that. And it would be nice if it permanently eliminated it, but that's just not going to happen. In order to permanently eliminate that frizz, what you want to do is use a crochet hook just like this. And all you do is you get that frizz, get the lock that's right next to all that frizz, wrap it around and literally go in and out, pull all that frizz in. This is going to permanently solve that issue. But if, like I said, you don't have time, you're just heading out for an event, then brushing your hair isn't a bad idea. It makes your hair look a little bit more clean. It's not the best, but it definitely cleans things up. But for the time being, before I do maintenance, I'm gonna keep wearing this ski mask. I mean, I don't have to wait that long. I'm maintaining my hair next week. I plan on doing a hairstyle, and I actually have to combine some locks, which I'm actually looking forward to. But I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace, God bless.